Good evening and welcome to this service of Compline. As we pray today, let's keep in our prayers and in our thoughts all those Christians around the world. Let us pray for unity on this week for Christian unity. As before, you may like to light a candle as we pray. Um, and this week, I encourage you to bring something that you can hold in your hand or you can set down that reminds you of Christians around the world. You will see on the image that I have um, a necklace that's uh, coiled up near the cross and the candle. And this was my grandpa's that he brought back from Kenya where he was a missionary. And this is going to help me keep in mind Christians around the world, our brothers and sisters. So I encourage you to do the same. Grab something symbolic, pull up a photo on your phone, something that will help you to remember Christians around the world so that we can pray together. The liturgy we will be using is in a link uh, in the description for this video. Let's take a moment to quiet ourselves in the presence of God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to God source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. My body shall rest in hope. Protect me, O God, for I take refuge in you. I have said to the Lord, you are my Lord, my good above all other. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble among the people, but those who run after other gods shall have their troubles multiplied. Their libations of blood I will not offer, nor take the names of their gods upon my lips. O Lord, you are my portion and my cup. It is you who uphold my lot. My boundaries enclose a pleasant land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not fall. My heart, therefore, is glad, and my spirit rejoices. My body also shall rest in hope. For you will not abandon me to the grave, nor let your Holy One see the pit. You will show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy and in your right hand are pleasures for evermore. Glory to God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. My body shall rest in hope. A reading. Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that in due time he may exalt you. Cast all your anxieties on him, for he cares about you. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. 
Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest in your eternal changelessness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Almighty and Merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and keep us. Amen.